So far we have dealt only with wave pulses, but it is often easier to work with waves that look like sine functions. These are called sine waves. A wave that appears to be moving in one particular direction is called a traveling wave. Traveling waves have several important characteristics. The highest point on a wave is called the crest. The lowest point on a wave is called the trough. The distance from the center or equilibrium line to the crest or the trough is called the amplitude and is denoted by capital A. The wavelength is the distance between two successive crests or troughs. The symbol for wavelength is lambda. In fact, the wavelength is the distance between any two equivalent points on the wave. To be equivalent, the points must be at the same height on the wave and moving the same direction, either up or down. Thus, midwave going up to midwave going down is not a wavelength, but midwave going up to midwave going up is. Another characteristic of a traveling wave is the period, which is the time it takes for one complete wave to pass a given point. Period is abbreviated by capital T. As with wavelength, the period can be measured from crest to crest, trough to trough, or between any two equivalent phase points. The wave frequency is the number of cycles that pass a given point in a certain amount of time. Frequency is represented by lowercase f and is written in units of cycles per second, or hertz. As you may have guessed, frequency and period are the inverse of one another. A simple equation relates the speed of the wave to the wavelength and frequency. The speed of the wave, v, is equal to the distance the wave travels in one cycle, or in one wavelength, lambda, times the number of cycles in a second, or frequency, f. Let's work a simple example. While sitting on the beach, you see a series of waves. The waves crest once every 15 seconds and appear to be 20 meters long. What is the speed of the waves? Very good. You must have known to take the inverse of the period to get the frequency, then to use the formula above to find the velocity.